All right, what's up everybody? This is Russ Henneberry with the Content Marketing Certification. And in this step, we're gonna be talking about four places to put an opt-in form on your blog. So remember that in the last step, we were talking about you know how important it is to understand that from your top of funnel content, you're looking to ascend as many people into your middle of funnel offers as possible and so I'm going to show you today where to put the opt-in forms for your lead magnets, for your middle of funnel content, for your gated content, whatever you call it at your organization. Uh, where do you put these opt-in forms on your blog so that you can gain, as, you can move as many people from top of funnel into the middle of funnel? All right, so let's take a look at this list here where we've got four places to put an opt-in form. Number one, a sidebar opt-in. And again, we'll go through these in more detail in just a second. End of post opt-in is number two, a pop-up opt-in, number three, and then number four, the dedicated landing page opt-in, all right? So in order to illustrate each one of these, let's jump in and take a look at some live blogs. All right, so here we are on Digital Marketers Blog, and over here in the sidebar, you see that we use this to advertise our own offers. You know, early on in this certification, we talked about how difficult it is to monetize a blog just based off of selling advertising and just selling ads. And so what we use our ad space for is to advertise our own offers. You know, remember, we are both the advertiser and the publisher here. So we aren't we aren't selling ad space over here so that people can click off of our site. Instead, we make our own offers on our content. That's why we have become both the advertiser and the publisher. So up here, you can see that we are just um, sort of advertising a, a conference that that our CEO is going to be speaking at. And then below this, you see that we've got this uh, 60 second blog plan build a content strategy fast, download now. So this is an offer over here for one of our middle of funnel uh, offers or our one of our lead magnets. So if you click on this thing, you're actually gonna be taken to a page where you can download this guy and become a middle of funnel lead, all right? So that is one place that you should be placing opt-in forms is in your sidebar. Now over on DIY Ready, uh, you can see over here we don't even we don't really use a lead magnet over here we just but we do have an opt-in box over here and uh, I would really like to see a lead magnet in here but and I think it would do a little bit better but uh, right now all we've got is just an opt-in form here and that's better than than not having anything at all so this is another example of a sidebar opt-in all right now number two is your end of post opt-in the end of post opt-in. So somebody that's reading your content like this um, on, um, you know, on DIY Ready, for example, and they get to the end of the post, you want to give them the ability to opt in. All right. So this is a quite long, long, long post. But once I get to the end, you get to this point where you can say, hey, you know, get the latest news, reviews, and, and all this. In your, and so I can opt in right here at the end of the post. Now, uh, a third type of opt-in, this one's totally optional, but is a pop-up opt-in. So this is DIY Ready's pop-up right now, um, and, you know, and it just says join free and discover how to make everything you want. Um, again, you know, this is a pop-up opt-in on uh, DIY Ready, and this is a this is. Um, Optional, you know, pop-ups usually increase response. In other words, you'll get more leads if you use a pop-up. Uh, and uh, but you know, it it may be something that you're not comfortable with with your organization, or it doesn't make sense for you guys to use pop-ups. Uh, but I can tell you that this that this will more than likely in increase the number of leads you're getting in the middle of the funnel. Now. The last one I want to talk about is the most important one, which is called a dedicated landing page or a dedicated squeeze page. A squeeze page, as we've talked about as we've been going along here, is a page, it's a type of landing page that uh, only, you know, it gets, uh, it gets people to take action because there's no distractions on the page. Remember the difference between this page, right, where there is 
a million different things they could do. They have all these different links they could click on. They could go over to Facebook and check us out on Pinterest. They could go to our About Us page. They could go learn about this conference. They could read this post. They can do all these different things on this page. On this page, there's only one thing to do. You either do what we're asking you to do here or you leave, all right? And the same on this one, right? So a squeeze page will have um, extremely high conversion rates. If your offer and your copywriting is good um, and your design and layout is good, you're going to have ex much, much higher conversion rates on a squeeze page than you will ever have on this page, you know, where there's just so many different things to do. So you want to be building... Uh, not only opt-ins, you know, throughout your content in different places, but don't expect those opt-ins that are at the end of the post or in your sidebar to get a lot of action because there's just too many other things going on on your site. Instead, make sure you are also building dedicated landing pages or squeeze pages and then using the strategies that we'll talk about later on in this certification to drive traffic directly to these offers and to drive people out of your content. You know, so someone's reading along and, and they, they see, remember this, this opt-in here um, with the three-part email series. Uh, let, let's jump back and, and, and find that post. You know, remember this, this post here, steal this wicked smart email campaign has a call to action inside of the content that takes them to a squeeze page. All right. And you'll get people clicking on this call to action in your top of funnel content because they want what they see here and they'll go to a squeeze page. All right. And then they've got and then and you'll see very, very high take rates on these on when you have a squeeze page in place. Uh, same with this sidebar opt in. If I click on it, I get taken to a squeeze page rather than, um, you know, trying to get somebody to opt in on this really, really busy, busy blog page. Right. Where there's all these other things to do. All right, so there are four great places to put an opt-in form to ascend people from the top of the funnel into your middle of funnel offers. And with that, let's move on to the next step.